Um, hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I thought I'd make this video because, as you all know, Microsoft have now acquired Activision, okay? Now, um, a lot of people are saying this is a big hit to Sony, um, I actually disagree, okay? And another thing that's quite ridiculous, I mean, I'm reading this article right here from PCGamer.com, okay, this is the first result I saw on Google when I typed it in. Uh, they're trying to say that Microsoft's, Microsoft acquiring Activision is going to affect PC gaming as well, okay? Um, that's total bullshit, okay? That's total bullshit because PC gaming is bigger than all consoles combined and PC gaming is pretty much the pinnacle of having all the shooters, okay? Like Counter-Strike, uh, Team Fortress 2, every, everything, okay? It's all better on PC, okay? This, is, this isn't going to fucking do a scratch on PC gaming. The only thing I could probably agree on that it might affect PC gaming or whatever is the fact that they're just going to put microtransactions, loot boxes in the games, because you know that's what, they, that's what they do, is whatever fucking Microsoft acquire turns to shit most of the time, so... I mean, end of the day, you know, Microsoft could go out and buy Ubisoft, and it would still be on Steam. It would still be on here. You know what I mean? Um, any fucking studio that Microsoft acquires will end up on Steam anyway. So, in my perspective, yeah, there is still no reason to buy an Xbox. I mean, most PlayStation gamers probably have a rig by now. You know, um, or probably are looking to buy a gaming laptop or whatever. So it's not, it's not really a win. If you think about it, like, it's not, I mean, because every single game or studio that Microsoft acquires is all going to end up being on one PC at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? So, I mean, obviously I'll get to play it with better frame rates, mouse and keyboard, better graphics and whatnot, right? You know, you know the usual stuff, right? This is, this is what I mean, like, Microsoft will never triumph this way. And to think that this is going to affect PlayStation is ridiculous, because PlayStation... It's probably going to come out with an even bigger studio now. I mean, let's look at Activision in general, okay? Let's just sit there and look at Activision. Like, how, look at their games and their history, okay? Their games fucking flopped after, like, what? Modern Warfare 2? Modern Warfare 3? Oh, who's giving a shit about their games since, like, 2013? No one. It's just overhyped, over, over-milked crap. That's what it is. You know, they're following a fucking Fortnite trend. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the Battle Royale crap. It's just, it's rubbish. It's totally rubbish. We all know how those games are. They're rubbish, you know? I mean, all these fucking Call of Duty games you're seeing now, especially, you're all getting some form of microtransactions or loot boxes and, and all this and that, you know? I mean, even Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered ended up getting, more, getting loot boxes. That speaks volumes, you know. Because that's all Microsoft care about. They just care about getting games where they just freaking fill them with microtransactions. You know, there's a difference between... There's a difference between having quantity, yeah, but then there's quality. And I'll give you an example of that. Um, let's look at God of War on Steam right now, yeah? Look at this reviews. Look. Overwhelmingly positive. Everything's in the blue. Everything's in the fucking blue. You know? Like, look at this. Overwhelmingly positive. If I go and search freaking Halo Infinite, right? Which is also a shooter, right? Right? Let's have a look. Right? That's in mostly, no, that's in mostly positive to very positive. Right? But still. Look at this. There's still more reds fucking coming through. It's declining. You know, you compare this shit to this masterpiece, right? It's just better. And I play, like, Steam users are loving this game right now. You know what I mean? Look, let me see and just look at this for a minute, okay? Like, just look at all these reviews. You know what I mean? Just, it's just something of actual quality. You know what I mean? I, mean, I know people are going to try their hardest to downplay it, but everyone I've been seeing playing this game on Steam right now, I've been fucking loving it. Do you know what I mean? I just sit there and read the reviews and what people are saying. 
You know what I mean? Then you look at Halo Infinite, you see the fucking player base on Halo Infinite declined. Why was that? Because of microtransactions. Do you want to say this is going to affect PC gaming? It's not going to do shit. You know, Microsoft the coin in this duty ain't going to do shit. They could go and buy all these companies. You know? They could go and buy Ubisoft, Rockstar, whatever. You know, you know where it's all going to go? It's all going to go on here. It's all going to go on my PC. You know? Just remember that. So if you're going to use this as a win or a cap, you know, try showing me something that I can't get on my PC. There's still no incentive to buy an Xbox. That's the problem. And it's not even that. Even when Sony put some of their older titles like this on PC, right, they're fucking phenomenal. You know, it's getting a tons of praise. I mean, this is one of, like, the fucking, the, one of the best ports. One of the best ports of all time. You know? Then you look at fucking Halo Infinite where people are having problems with fucking stuttering and shit like that, right? You know, all these other problems. It just shows, you know, it just shows, you know. Like, Sony just got much better quality with all their games, you know. But yeah, do, you know, them acquiring this, you know, acquiring, even Bethesda, like, come on. Fucking Bethesda. Like, I'll show you something of Bethesda, right? Let me go on here, I mean, look, you got a Nexus modding community, yeah, which is the holy grail of modding. Okay, you have to mod the fuck out of these games on PC to work. I mean, look at all these mods for New Vegas, shit. Yeah? You can't do none of this on console. You can't even mod these games. Look at all these mods you can fucking get on PC, but you can't do that on your Xbox. You know? Uh, what, what other ones is that? Fallout 4. Look at all these huge mods. Right? Full, uh, Skyrim. Special Edition. Look at all these mods. These fucking blow away all the mods on the Xbox. You know, it's, <laughs> this is what I mean. Like, even Fallout Three, can you mod? The, tell me, Xbox owners, right? Can you mod Fallout Three on your Xbox? Can you run this game at sixty FPS solid on your Xbox? No, you can't. It just proves my point. You know, as like, just look at this. Look at all these mods. Even for Fallout Three. New Vegas, whatever, yeah, you do, you're trying to use all this shit as a cap, you know what I mean, you can't do shit, you know, at the end of the day, PC is king, okay, and PlayStation, it's most likely going to come out with a new studio, and it's just going to make this fucking acquisition pointless, you know what I mean, because no one gives a shit about Call of Duty anymore, same with Bethesda, you know what I mean, if you want to play Bethesda games, play them on here, play them on PC, play them on Steam, yeah, fucking make use of all these mods, because no one gives a shit, you know? This is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, anyways, this is Chris J, I'm out, peace.